Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Making Games, and we're at day 90 today. The last time you saw me was on the way back from uh, Bali. So I got back, I finally got back, I think I'd been up for about 40 hours. And so, as you can imagine, I was in an extremely fragile state. And uh, what happened from there, I went to bed, uh, that was about 4 o'clock in the morning, I got to bed. I woke up at uh, 4 the next day, so that was 12 hours sleep, straight up. I might have woken up a couple of times, but it was definitely, I slept like an absolute log. I got up thinking, yeah, okay, I'll be sweet. By about 9 o'clock that night, after about 5 hours of being up, I realized, nah, there's no way I'm going to be able to uh, stay up too much longer, and I went back to bed, guys. So I went back to bed, slept for another 9 hours. So, what's that, 12 plus 9, 21 hours within a 26-hour period, and um, that is the most sleep I've ever done. I still, I woke up even still after that, and my eyes were still like, you know, all puffy and fucking dark and things like that, so... Staying up that long, guys, is certainly not ideal, um, but it's what I had to do to get home. So, luckily, thank God, I didn't have to go back to work until tomorrow, which is actually Friday. Uh, that marks 13 weeks total uh, doing this series, so it's day 91. I, <clears throat> I feel really bad because, obviously, it's called Making Gains, right? The series is called Making Gains, so clearly it's about building muscle and, you know, incorporating that into my lifestyle and I feel like these last few videos probably the last 10 or so have just been covering you know have just been sort of introducing myself as a person rather than actually showing you too many meals and too many you know what supplements I'm using and and how I'm training and, and showing you my training and I know a few a few people have actually asked specifically for more training footage and I think going forward from here guys I think I've done the whole you know get to know me sort of thing I, I certainly have, and if you haven't got to know me yet, uh, look back at a few few videos that I've put up recently, and you'll you'll get to know me pretty fast. So, I think that's sort of out of the way now, and we can get back to what I really want to show you guys, and what this series is about, which is making making games, right? So, today, um, I'm not proud to say this, guys, but today is actually going to be my first leg day for three weeks. I didn't train legs, I trained legs once, no, I trained legs twice in Christchurch, didn't train them in Melbourne, which where I went to after Christchurch, and I definitely didn't train them in Bali. I think, you know, Bali, Bali was a, a good trip, but as far as my training and diet goes, um, I could have cut, I could have like cut weight really easily, and I feel like I actually have done a mini cut of sorts whilst being there, you know, unintentionally, because... Um, the heat, it's just so hard to keep yourself hydrated, it's so hard to eat solid foods. Um, you know, I, I, I was enjoying shakes and juices and things like that, so I, I definitely think overall um, I, I actually lost weight while I was there, maybe a, a kg or something, but you know, because I wasn't training effic efficiently and effectively, I probably lost a tiny bit of muscle as well. So I came back tired as fuck thinking I'd lost all this muscle, thinking I'd lost all this weight. So this last three days has actually been a real struggle mentally to get myself back in the game. But I've done that. I've done that. I've, I've, I've started making my smoothies again, you know, egg whites, protein powder, um, oats, bananas, things like that. So one of those, first thing in the morning, is, is an extremely good start. And I wasn't doing that the whole entire time I was away. So even just that um, has sort of, you know, got my head back on track and, and got my mind back in the game and I'm feeling good. So I've put on probably a kg since I got back. Um, I started taking creatine again. I took creatine away with me, but I never used it the whole entire time, which was quite stupid. So I was feeling pretty flat most of the time, you know, I, I wasn't feeling that, that pumped in the gym and stuff. And so I've incorporated creatine back into the diet again. So, you know, five to seven grams every day either in a shake or by itself, it doesn't really matter. I'm on my pea protein again. So we've got, we've got the creatine here. Um, I've got the pea protein. Now I made a review on the pea protein ages ago and I had to pull it down because I actually do, I, I don't mind it to be honest. If I, if I mix it with you know, a banana and some oats and some berries, it's, it's actually quite nice. Um, it's not too sweet, 
and it just gives that sort of cocoa sort of flavor. So I am using pea protein. I haven't used whey protein in probably about two months now, and I'm going to keep it that way. Um, the reason I used whey protein was the taste, and you know, MTS whey is absolutely delicious. If I'm not going to put all those extra ingredients into the shake to make it taste nice, I'm going to want a protein powder that tastes nice by itself, right? So that's why I use that. But at, at this point in time, I've, I've taken whey protein out and I'm using pea protein. So today, guys, today is actually going to be the first time I take you back to the gym and show you some workout footage. So I've, ch I've chosen today, uh, you know, intentionally being a leg day. After not training legs for three weeks and just putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, um, it's not, I don't feel like it's going to be easy. I feel like I'm going to feel weak and I'm going to need all the motivation I, I can get to push through this workout and taking my camera down and getting myself on film is going to give me that motivation. So we're going to test it. I'm going to go to um, the Lassiter's Hotel and Casino Gym, uh, which is my second gym, I've also got an Anytime Fitness membership. This gym has a nice Smith machine to do Smith machine squats on. I don't, I really just don't want to hit a free weight squat right now. I want to get myself back into it, you know, warm up the joints, get get everything moving again, and um, we'll see we'll see how we go. So this this Smith machine is really nice. It's not, it's absolutely you know vertical. It's not on an angle like some Smith machines are these days, and it's it's nice and smooth. And um, I've been able to push some pretty good weight on that in the past. So I'm going to hit that first. And then from there, we're going to go to a seated leg press. Then I'm going to do some leg extensions. And I'm going to finish off with some walking lunges. So it's going to be a pretty tough workout, pretty grueling, um, as per usual. But I just haven't, you know, I've, I've been on holiday. I've, I've I just, uh, I've just put it off, man. I've been slack. What can I say? I, I, can't, I honestly can't say much more than that. I've just been a slack cunt and I haven't trained legs. So, you know, I'm a firm believer of uh, training your lower body is only going to improve the gains on your upper body, right? So it's, you've got to train your legs. You've got to train your lower body. And that's what we're going to do today. So without further ado... Um, I think we should we should fucking get into it. So I'll see you guys down there. All right, guys, what is going on? Jacob here. This is going to be the first voiceover of sorts that I've done in a fucking long time. And I'll tell you what, guys, it took a week for my legs to feel better. It's about nine days later right now. This voiceover is just going to be nice and short. The workout went, as I mentioned in the previous clip, we did a Smith Machine squat, which I really, really enjoyed. We got we got really quite heavy, heavier than I thought I was going to get anyway. Um, lots of warm-ups. Like I said, I wanted to get my knees working properly, you know, all the joints lubricated before I went and hit some heavy weight. But what I will say is that I hit a PB, would you believe? The phenomenon of feeling weaker but using your mind um, and, you know, your mental strength to push through and actually hit a PB is true man it's phenomenon it doesn't make sense but it's fucking true and I hit a PB so I can't exactly remember how many reps but I think uh, it was 10 to 12 with 140 kg well actually it's not 140 it's 120 so 60 on each side plus whatever the bar weighs which is not much at all so that really fucked me so from there I actually skipped the seated leg press that I was gonna do and I stayed on the Smith machine I was really feeling it and I did some single leg uh, lunge squats so brought the weight right down to 20 kgs each side which was actually probably a little bit heavy because as I said I was pretty fucked from the sets before but I did three sets each leg with 20 kgs each side for about 12 reps so from there uh, squatting leg press the compound lifts were done I went over to the leg extension and I did sets of 20. That is the number I like to hit on the leg extension. I tend to stay away from doing heavy sets with heavy weight because, because basically guys, I don't want to screw my knees up. From there I went over to my final exercise which was a walking lunge. I, I tend to do it with a barbell. I find that it allows me to keep my chest up, you know, keep my, like you, like you do in a barbell back squat, keep my chest up, head up and really feel it nicely through the legs, the quads, the hamstrings and the glutes. 
um, all the way through the movement. So I did four sets of however many reps it takes to get from one end of the corridor down to the other. And we did that four times. So with that said guys, uh, it was a fantastic workout. Um, this is going to be a, a nice and short sort of voiceover because I'm going to put most of this footage in another video which is going to be called Leg Training 101. And I think that's how I'm going to structure it going forward. I'm just going to put a few clips in the Make and Gain series because there's going to be other video clips you know, surrounding the training footage. And as far as you know, proper, proper technique, proper tutorial, you know, giving you guys every knowledge bomb that I have, uh, we're going to be doing those in separate videos. So I hope you enjoyed the footage. I felt really, really good after this workout. Um, what can I say? I felt so good that I even added in some triceps. So you're going to see a tricep drop set. That was my last set of triceps. So we did legs and triceps. Fantastic workout, like I said, really got me back in the game. Um, I'm speaking a week in the future and I'm feeling really good. Things are going fantastic. More videos to come. I'll see you guys in the next one. Just need to remember